Steves, owner of Gorgeous Fabrics. You know, when I teach sewing classes, I often hear students say that they're scared to sew with silk. Why? Because silk has the reputation of being slippery and difficult to work with. Well, I have to tell you that silk doesn't always deserve its scary reputation. With a few tips and tricks, you can tame this gorgeous fabric and get great results. Silk is a fiber that's spun by silkworms. This fiber is very fine, very strong, and takes dyes beautifully. It can be woven into lots of different types of fabrics, from the filmiest chiffon to a suit weight tweed. Now if you get hives just thinking about sewing with silk, don't. Yes, certain silk fabrics like chiffons and charmeuse can be adventurous. But a silk like this silk tweed sews up just like cotton suiting. The very first silk I ever sewed with was a silk tweed, and I wore that suit for years. Silk Dupioni is a great beginner silk fabric. Dupioni is a lustrous, firmly woven fabric that is used for everything from formal wear to shirts and separates to home deck. One of the great secrets of Dupioni is that you can actually wash it. I recommend washing and drying silk Dupioni at least twice before you cut into it. This will do two things. It will remove much of the luster and all of the excess dye. And once you wash it, it feels very much like a soft cotton. Another wonderful fabric to work with is silk crepe. Silk crepe is lustrous and drapey. It comes in weights that are suitable for sewing everything from blouses to the most formal of formal wear. Now while it may be a little more difficult to sew than say tweed or dupioni, it does sew up beautifully and it wears like a dream. I like to lay my fabric on top of blank newsprint, medical exam paper, or tracing paper before cutting. You can buy any of these papers in rolls from medical supply houses and graphic arts stores. Simply lay your fabric on the paper, place your pattern pieces over the fabric, and pin all of them together. Then cut through all layers. Voila! Cutting silk just got a whole lot less traumatic. When sewing with silk tweed, you can generally treat it like a wool tweed. I use a universal size 70 10 needle and a straight stitch that I set to two and a half millimeters. Some silk fabrics can be slippery to work with, but I've found some cool tools that can help out. First are these cool U-shape pins. These are commonly used in quilting, but they're great for taming slippery fabrics of all types. I always keep the pins within the seam allowances to eliminate the possibility of leaving holes in my fabric. When sewing gorgeous silk fabric, I always use a new needle. Now I've had some people say to me that they think this is a waste of money, but honeys, I'm here to tell you, I would rather spend pennies on a brand new needle than risk ruining my entire project with an old needle that could pull or leave holes in my fabric. I've had good luck with either Universal or Microtex needles. I use the smallest needle I can get away with. In most cases, that's a size 60 8 or 70 10. And I generally use a straight stitch set to two and a half millimeters. When starting and ending a seam in silk fabric, I shorten my stitch length to 0.1 millimeters for the first few stitches, rather than using a back tack. After four or five stitches at this length, I set my stitch length to two and a half millimeters. The very short stitch length secures your seam, but it adds no bulk. When sewing with silk, it's vitally important to press your seams properly. You can see more about this in our video, Press That Bad Mamma Jamma. Silk is commonly called the queen of all fabrics, but silk isn't always a diva. I hope these tips give you confidence to sew with this gorgeous fabric. For the gorgeous fabrics used in this video and all of your fashion fabric needs, visit gorgeousfabrics.com.